Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh boy, uh, we got a treat today. Um, we're gonna play The Sims 4. It's been a it's been a long time since played The Sims 4. Um, it's a hashtag ad. We're being sponsored by EA today. To play The Sims 4, the new Horse Ranch DLC. Can you believe it? Let me tell you about this Horse Ranch DLC off the top of my head. Um, it, you can choose uh, you can choose your own path in this Horse Ranch DLC, uh, which is not simply a reskin. Let me tell you this uh, right right away. It's not a basic horse pet edition either. Uh, it's an immersive journey with brand new activities, locations, characters, and storytelling sandbox elements to explore and express with. Now, if that doesn't wet your whistle, maybe I don't know you as well as I thought I did. Um, we, can, uh, we, can, we can live a, a, a complete ranch lifestyle with, uh, with our, the character that we choose to create. To my mind, it, we've, been, it's, we've been Hogan heavy recently. It's time to bring, bring the whacker back. You know what I'm saying? Um, I literally mean that we are gonna bring the whacker back if uh, you don't know what I'm saying. And we're gonna we're gonna include the horse ran the Sims 4 horse ranch DLC as part of the whackerverse. Um, it, and it fits too because if you remembered um, a previous game that we played, I I won't mention it because uh, we're here for a different game today. There was a there was a a horse theme to it. Also luggage stealing theme to it as well so you know it makes sense that after peter pennywhacker um defeated the luggage bandits he would want to retire somewhere peacefully on his own horse ranch in the wild wild west right who knows anyway let's do a new game What was that at the on the? Uh, it's a hashtag ad, by the way. I did mention that. I'll mention it again though, just in case. We're sponsored to play this today. Haven't said that though. It, it does look like it's probably pretty fun, right? Well, we're about to find out. Emily is here to help. Does uh, do does Emily need to help us? I can customize my own sim. Thanks very much. Oh my gosh. Hello, my name is <coughs> Peter. Pennywhacker. Change pronouns. It's a he him. He's my character. It's a he him, okay? Alright. He's my character with no muscle mass. And, uh... We can work it off, right? This guy's gonna be working day and night on the horse ranch. He's gonna get fit in no time. But he can start off... Unfit, I think. It'll be part of the journey. No? <laughs> Sips, I am very excited. Yes. Huge thank you to EA for facilitating this with their money. Yes. I hope you are having a great Saturday so far. Skin tones? I'm so excited for this game. If you thought algebra was hard, you should see my cock and balls. Jeez. No gross Ooh. kidding. Hey, Jim TWB, that is gross, and I'm glad you're kidding, but I also thank you so much from the bottom of my heart as well. If you want to find out more about oh, this oh. game, there's a link that you can access by typing exclamation mark Sims 4 in the chat. It'll take you right to where you need to go to pick up this thrilling new DLC for The Sims 4, the video game by EA. Hashtag ad. It's not Sips 4. Nice try, though. Um, anyway... We're, we've made a start. Emily, here to help? Go away. You can review this information, helpful lessons, any... T sounds good. Okay. I don't want to view the lessons right now. I'm, I'm, I'm working on my, my skin tone, my body. No, you know what? I don't want a muscular Ooh, at all. Okay. Douche. Tattoos. Arm hair. Yeah. Torso hair. Oh my god. Back hair? Oh, 
Leg hair? You know it, baby. Peter Pennywhacker is hairy. Skin details? Do we want some, like, uh, blemishes or some stretch marks? I don't know if we do, actually. No. Medical wearables. Oh my god, man. We can give him a diabetic uh, tab thing. Do you think we want to do that? I don't think we need to, right? Um, how do we style his skin tones, bodies, styled looks, tops, full body, bottoms, accessories, shoes? Remind me, how do I change his, uh, oh, you just click on it. Okay, never mind. I got it. Okay, what kind of, yeah, we're gonna make him look more like the, like the Peter Pennywhacker that you would remember from, um, when we played another game. Actually, maybe I can mention this game because it is an EA game. Uh, it's, it was FIFA, if you remember. <laughs> um, there you go. This is the, the look that we're going for. Short, medium, long, updo, facial hair. All right, it's gotta be every time. That is nice. Hats, we don't need. Accessories, glasses. Oh my God, this is incredible. There's some choices here for sure. That's the one. I think that's the one. And let's give him some co a cool necklace as well. You can't really see the necklace. Medical wearable. You can give him a hearing aid. A little bit of makeup, perhaps? On his lips? Oh. Okay, you know what? Who was that clown guy that we made that one time? What was his name again? What did we call him? I think it, I think it was the, um, no, it wasn't Rufio. There was a, we made a clown guy um, in, um, in The Sims a long time ago. What the fuck was his name? I can't remember now. No, it wasn't Andromeda. No, no, it wasn't that one. It was, this is before then. Wasn't it like Chet? No, it wasn't Chet. It was, um, man, I can't remember. Tony. Tony Macaroni. It was a YouTube video, yeah. Tony Bateman. That was it. It was Tony Bateman. That was, th that was great. Okay. Tops? Heck yeah. Wonderful. Um, bottoms. Peter's got to do his horse ranching in oh. style, if you know what I mean. Yeah, perfect. Uh, what about footwear? What's, what's some good foot... Okay, of course. It's got to be cowboy boots for working on the ranch, right? I think this is looking pretty nice, actually. Do you think there's some more accessories that we need? Perhaps some gloves? Where would that come under? Gloves. Oh, there's no masculine brassiers. Unfortunately. There's gotta be some gloves, right? Somewhere? Vests? Oh man, what about this vest? This might actually be a better vest for working on the ranch. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's in accessories. Oh, right. Accessories. Okay, we need some good gloves for working on the ranch. That's better. You can see those ones a bit better, right? I guess we can just change the color. Other color colors are available. We can get some big yellow gloves. What about some blue gloves? I think the blue gloves are better. They're a bit more surgical, you know? Hey, uh, pause the chronic. Thanks so much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks. There's a long glove if you untick masculine. Oh, I see. So if you untick masculine, we could potentially have a brassiere as well. Man, oh man. Now we're talking. Holy jeez. I think that's pretty good. 
The thing is, I don't know if you guys have noticed recently, but the weather is so hot everywhere you go. So Peter's going to be working on his ranch, and uh, he's going to be getting real, real hot. And he can't afford air conditioning, at least not straight away. So I think, all things considered, I wonder if there's some better bottoms as well. Underwear. Masculine under. Oh, here we go. This could be even better. Look at this. What do you think of those? What do you think of these? Maybe there maybe these ones are not good enough for working on the okay, but these ones. Come on. Come on, look at that treasure trail as well. Peter Pennywhacker. I think it's I think it's perfect, honestly. Okay. Select inspira aspiration. Um Okay, well, I mean, this is a, a, this is a very specific thing that Peter is setting out to do, right? Peter is setting out to work on a horse ranch. He knows that he's going to set up a horse ranch, so he must have an aspiration for deviance, obviously. Um, Chief of Mischief, Villainous Valentine. This sim wants to destroy the love lives of all sims, including their own. That sounds like my Peter. Okay, that's pretty good. <clears throat> What's this one here? Select likes and dislikes. Categories, music genre. All right. I think we can all agree that ranch music stinks. No, it, it owns. It's the Horse oh. Ranch DLC, right? He has, to, he has to love Horse Ranch DLC. This is the life that he's chosen for himself. He's, ch he's chosen to, to, to work and live on the ranch, so he's got to love ranch music, right? Select traits. Um, what do you think best describes, best describes Peter Pennywhacker? I think he's a genius. Samba. Um, what traits would you like? You think he's a foodie? He loves the outdoors. And? What else? He's a rancher. These sims excel at ranch life and take pride in their work. They enjoy ranch chores and caring for their livestock. How could you possibly go wrong? Right? He loves ranch music. He loves working at at the ranch. He hates. Okay, hang on a second. For this one, he loves horses. Oh my god! Aha! He's he loves he loves ranching, and what else? Is there anything else? He's family oriented. No, no, he's not. He could be, actually. He could be. What about a geek? A foodie? Creative? Self-assured. If he's gonna whisper to horses, then he's gonna have to love um, what about being a vegetarian? Or what about being lazy? Being lazy conflicts with being a rancher. Okay, I think he's just gonna have to love the outdoors, right? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to go with this, right? Peter Pennywhacker? Let's go. Click the check mark to save this household to your library and begin playing. Oh, oh. I've done it. The ranch awaits. Select world select. Welcome to residential worlds. Brindleton Bay, Chestnut Ridge. This community formed when several groups have embraced their mutual connection to horses and the land. 
The area soon became known as a hub for all things equestrian, a town steeped in expertise with raising and training horses. Set against a beautiful and expansive landscape, over time, the area became famous for another endeavor as the rich soil brought in the new enterprises of nectar making. Thanks to the hard work of everyone involved, the region flourished and became the chestnut ridge it is today for every pony everywhere. Chestnut Ridge. This is the map of the world? Okay, I don't need any tips. I've played this game before. What's this one? The, co the, co the Cozy Corner House, residential, 20 by 20. Lot challenges, wild prairie grass. I don't know what that means. There's also Palomino Junction. This one is 50 by 50. It costs 19,492 bucks. We only have 20 grand. We can't afford this lot. We can't live in this one. We have to choose an unoccupied lot for our household first. I guess we're gonna have to start small. 17 grand doesn't leave us with a lot of money left over at the cozy corner house. Maybe we want this one because it's more of a, uh, it's more of like a ranch, right? It looks like a ranch more so. There's also uh, the Red Rowan Field, which is 9,987 bucks, which would leave us with a bit of funny money <coughs> left over, you know? You want to do this? Red Rowan Field? Just move into a house with people living there already. <coughs> Can you do that? No, there's no house, but we can make our dream shack. Yeah, we can make a house, no problem. Okay, I'm moving in. This lot doesn't have a starter home built on it. I recommend you move to one that has a starter home instead. All right, you know what? Fine, let's move into this one and see if we can make it work. This one's a bit cheaper, right? We can't afford this one, but maybe we can work our way up to affording it. The Penny Whacker household is moving. Do we want it to be furnished? Yeah, I think so. Let's just move in and get going. We'd have 2,717 bucks left over. We would just start doing some gardening, like, straight away. No space for a horse. Don't worry, we'll make space for a horse. Look, there's plenty of space for a horse out here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Look at this place. This is perfect. This is everything you need. Um, no thanks, Emily. Emily here to help? Sounds good. Okay, thanks very much. Howdy there. Swing by the hay now. Equestrian Center for the best training in town and test your horsemanship in our competitions. Okay, thanks very much. How do we get our first horse? Do we have a phone? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's not like a, a landline anymore, right? It's um, something else. You currently don't, any, don't own any businesses. Use the drop-down menu to purchase a business. We don't need to pr purchase a business just yet. Let's just let Peter do his thing. He's reading a book. It's Sunday. It's 8.33 a.m. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Maybe we have to order a horse from, like, um, the Horse Emporium, you know? Maybe that's the way to do it. We can make a pool if we want to. I don't think we really need to add much to the house right now. It's looking fine to me. <clears throat> how do you how do you change the uh, the view again? Oh, here, look. You can you can change it so that you can see. There, look at that. What a view. What a cozy little ranch. We can, we're we're going to have neighbors. I'm sure the neighbors will drop by soon to greet us. That's always really fun. Let's put the walls up here like this. That's perfect. Um, and then let's see. What does he want? He wants to catch a fish, and he wants to refill an animal feeder. Call Ranch Animal Exchange. Purchase a horse or rescue a horse. Buy mini goats and mini sheep. You want to rescue a horse? Rescue horse. Due to the environment they came from, rescue horses will have more difficult traits. 
Some extra attention and care may be needed. What kind of horse do you want to start with? Thunder? Sunshine? Big Rock Candy? Good Neighbor? Pirate? Shadow Morse, the horse. Big Rock Candy. Okay, but look at This is an adult horse. It's a stallion. Needy, aggressive, and free spirit. All right. Here he goes. Off he goes to rescue the horse. Peter Pennywhacker. He's packed it on a little bit. He's let himself go. It's been a tough couple of years since he left, uh, since he defeated the uh, the luggage bandits. Um, and now he's seeking out the quiet life on his own ranch in The Sims 4. The Horse Ranch DLC, sponsored by EA. Hashtag ad. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Horse rescued. All right, it's always exciting to welcome a new horse to the household. This horse is going to need a name. Um, can you think of a really good name for a horse? How about Barry Manilow? Last name, Pennywhacker. Okay. His last name can be Barry Manilow Manilow. Barry Manilow. You want to tell him a joke? We're going to tell this horse a joke. Stroom, stroom, stroom. Garsha, garsha, flagga. <laughs> the horse loved that. The horse loves it when you tell it a joke. How's it going? Huh? What's the dip? New horse. Congratulations, you have a horse. Owning a horse is a way of life that requires hard work, training, and lots of care. To properly care for a horse, you'll need a handful of items. Stock up from build mode through objects by room. Go to the outdoor section and then animals. Helpful items may include hay now, animal feeder, horse water trough, a horse bed, one big ball, and horse jumps or barrels. Peter is a horse lover. Horse lovers enjoy socializing with horses and are empathetic to horse emotions. Because of this deep connection, they may get sad when they have not interacted with horses for a while. Okay. Acquired the temper temperament skill. Barry's new skill and temperament will oh, begin to help him successfully socialize with sims and other horses. As this skill increases, socialization will become even more successful. Horses with high temperament skill are less likely to buck riders and will perform better at certain community jobs and the Western Pleasure, show jumping, and ultimate horse championship competitions. Jesus. Barry is happy that all his needs are met. Good job, Barry. Oh, man. Okay. Peter, let's refill the feeder. It's going to cost 30 bucks. We're going to run out of money. Before we know it, if we're not careful, we're going to have to make some money. Maybe we can take Barry into town and show him off for money. Like Buskin Barry. Peter is a rancher at heart. His idea of a good time includes doing chores around the ranch and interacting with livestock. Rancher Sims excel at ranch life, occasionally making a bonus bottle when crafting nectar or extra hay when harvesting prairie grass. He will be more successful at horse breeding. Oh my god. You can you can breed horses and stuff too? Okay, more choices. Horse care. Let's brush his coat. After we're done, I don't know what we're doing here. Something. Catch a fish? Be friendly to livestock? Okay, well, we're just about to be friendly to some livestock right now. I think you can probably get kicked in the head, yeah. I think it's possible. It said something about the horses bucking. Look at this. Barry loves this. Harvest some prairie grass. Where is prairie grass? Do I have any? Whose house is this? 
who lives in a house like this? I don't think I have any prairie Careful grass to harvest. I could try to catch a fish. I'd have to leave the premises. Oh, what's this over here? Add advanced jumping rails? Practice basic jumps? Peter needs to be mounted on a horse to do this? Oh, maybe this is part of mine. Okay, let's mount up. Acquired the horse riding skill. Peter's newfound horse riding skill will grow as he rides horses. With high levels of horse riding skill, Sims gain powerful moodlets from riding and are more likely to win competitions at the equestrian center and are less prone to getting bucked off their horse. All right, let's go. We're going to practice some basic jumps with Barry. Come on, Barry. Oh, look at this. Off he goes. Woo. Big jump. Let's go. Wow, well done. Barry Manilow acquired the jumping skill. Barry's new skill in jumping will begin to help him perform better when using horse jumps. As this skill increases, he will also perform better at certain community jobs in the show jumping, endurance racing, and ultimate horse championship competitions. Okay, let's... We, we, got, we got a lot of training to do here. We can do we can practice barrels as well. That might be a nice one. After we've done some more jumping, we're gonna have to take Barry home and uh, hose him down, feed him some sugar lumps, maybe some some apples. Actually, I did feed up his I did fill up his uh, his trough. Right. You can direct the horse to drink as well. Make sweet love to the horse. I don't think we. We're going to be doing that, no. If you mean like hugging him and kissing him a little bit, sure, but come on. <clears throat> Just a little bit. Got to take him to the horse dentist. Yeah, absolutely. Polish his hooves every single day and take him to the horse dentist. When do we get to eat him? Um, I, I think if you set up a... Um, I think if you set up a lasagna restaurant, um, you might be able to uh, source the meat for your lasagna from the ranch. You know, don't let don't ride the horse; let it ride you. You can only direct a horse to water, and you can't make them drink. Yes, that's why. Look, direct horse to drink. That's what you do. You you direct it to the drink. How do you see um, how um, skills, relationships, inventory, simology, needs? There we go. Let's get the needs open. Okay. Peter Pennywacker's social needs are through the roof now because him and Barry are just having the best time out here together. Uh, but other things are starting to falter as a result. For example... Peter's having so much fun that he feels the tremendous need to take a piss. Also, he's getting a bit hungry. He's running out of energy, and he's starting to lose hygiene. And he's not maybe having the maximum amount of fun either. Because it is kind of like work as well, you know? Whoa. Okay, let's stop the basic jumps now. Peter has reached level 2 of the horse riding skill. Wowzers. Okay, Peter can now go for intense ride. Sims will now be able to talk about jumping with Barry. Also, Barry will perform slightly better when using horse jumps. Barry's new skill and agility will begin to help him perform better when using horse barrels. Okay, this is good. Look at this. Barry's so good at the... No... Okay, Barry, maybe a little bit better. You just got to take the turn. There you go. That's the way to do it. You got to give it a wide berth. But you want to come in tight on it as well. Maybe I should be whispering all this. Because if we're going to be horse whisperer, I think, I think the main thing is that they do whisper. I think that, I think that is how it, how it works. You know? I think a lot of whispering takes place. What's this thing? Oh, it's a bat. It's an outdoor bathroom. 
In other news tonight, a string of dozens of missing persons in the swamplands of Willow Creek continues to grow as a trio of university students were reported disappeared. All the while, several paintings of disappeared people have been found by police. <laughs> hey, Andromeda Wilson, thank you so much for the 1337. I appreciate it. God, it's been a while, eh? Andromeda, and Andromeda. It's been a little. It's been a little while since Andromeda. I um refresh my memory. Andromeda locked people in her basement, right, and uh, and then painted them while they were down there. The the painting career path has always been an enticing one in this game. We made it so that the people who were in the basement could never leave. And they just progressively got more and more upset. And if I remember, there were quite a few of them down there, too. She locked them in and painted them crying. I, I feel like, uh, I mean, I've said it before, I'm sure, but this, this game really brings out the serial killer in everybody, right? I know that like uh, kids like to play it as well and stuff. It's fun to watch the horse and everything. But I mean, I, I feel like if you if you if you play it enough, some of the shit that you you come up with is just no. You guys don't do any of that stuff when you play this game. All right. Well, guess guess it's just me. I mean, uh, why? I'm I'm sure it's not. Sims 1 was your torture simulator. There you go. 99 installs 300 sex mods. There you go. There you go. Who who would have thought? I mean, uh, if you've ever modded Skyrim, you'll know that uh, it's quite popular. I think 99 probably played Skyrim um, differently to everybody as well. You made haunted mansions by drowning Sims in a house and then hiding their graves in the crawl spaces. Nice, nice. So they what? They just came back as ghosts and then uh, spooked out everybody that went in? It's like a Disney ride. I think that's how they make the haunted mansion at Disney so spooky as well. Yeah, anytime somebody is, is quickly taken down into the catacombs because they're having trouble or whatever, their soul is locked in Disney. Barry now will be able to talk about going fast and will perform slightly better when using horse barrels. Okay, let's talk to him about going fast. Go for an intense ride. More choices. Actions. Sell horse. <laughs> let's do some... Let's clean his hooves now. Come on. Oh, P Peter, come on now. Peter's got to get better at getting off the horse, I think. Oh, somebody's having a casual, an uncomfortably casual discussion. It looks like it's, who is it? Fine and uncomfortable. Oh, who's this? Are these people coming to Shea Peter, the greatest ranch that there ever was and potentially that there ever will be? All right, let's direct Barry to drink some water. Okay, Barry, go have some water, and uh, Peter will go to the bathroom and maybe make himself something to eat. He can invite his guests in and make them something to eat as well. Maybe he could serve up some lasagna to his his guests. Trap them and paint them crying? No, no, Peter doesn't roll like that. Also, it's a hashtag ad. Uh, if anything, we're going to trap a load of horses and paint them crying because it's more keeping with the theme. You know, imagine we could imagine we had a ranch that just had like a million horses in it. They don't need that much space. So they can just stand up in their little box and you just feed them apples all day. You could hook some tubes up to their butts for the poop and then fertilize all of your you could make a ton of money. You could you could probably satisfactory the whole thing, you know, make an industrial horse farm. Exactly. Yeah, I think that would be perfect. All right, Barry. It's time to use the bathroom. Go on. He's he's, <laughs> he's he's taking a brisk pace. He's going. He's gotta go. I'm bursting here. Uh oh, he's uncomfortable. 
uncomfortably needs to go into the into the bat. Oh, nice! Look at that. All right, good. He's gonna feel a lot better. Next up, we need to. We gotta cook. Let's cook. God, that's expensive. A grilled cheese. A single serving of grilled cheese. Okay, let's go. All right. He's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's fine. Barry is eating some hay, it looks like. And Barry had some water as well. Barry has a horse bed. He has a place to dr He needs a big ball, though. Okay. Challenge yourself with lot challenges? Not right now, okay? I'm a bit busy right now. Where is, if I go to outdoor water decor, outdoor plants, terrain tools, ball, 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 ball in pet toys. I think it was big ball though, right? Which one do you think is suitable? One big ball. Your horses are going to love having a toy their size to play with. Okay, let's make sure that we don't lose the ball. Oh my gosh, that is an enormous ball. Okay, huge ball acquired. Peter's just going to have a grilled cheese sandwich. Peter also um, is uncomfortable because... Uh, he was stung by bees in the restroom. Turns out he actually has his own uh, bathroom here that we could have used instead of the outhouse. You missed the pan. You missed the pan. We should have made um, a serving for uh, Barry as well. Do you think Barry can eat a grilled cheese sandwich? You can make a bedroom for the horse. I'm sure you can, yeah. Got a little bit of money. Howdy there. Friendly reminder that the Hey Now Equestrian Center is open from 7 to 7. For clothes, just come back tomorrow for an exciting day of training and competition. We might go check that out. Barry is... Do horses actually sleep standing up like that? Or is he just napping? I'm not sure. Peter's having his dinner anyway. No, we don't need anything for the ad, Erica. It's all taken care of. Everything, Everything is in place. Everything is where it needs to be. We made a command and everything. Ask horse to eat. You want to buy some mini goats and some mini sheep as well? Goats and sheep or just sheep? How about a cream mini sheep? Or a green one? Or a pink? There's all sorts of... There's a white... Uh, it's 150 bucks. Purchased animals will go into the Sims inventory. Name cream mini sheep. Creamy. Nice. Okay, Peter, it's now time for you to place Creamy in. Oh, he's done it. Creamy, you can't live inside. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. Creamy, you have to go outside, okay? I think we need to make his, him his own pen. Creamy needs his own pen out here. <sighs> pen? Pendant lamp. Sheep. Electric sheep. Ironwork signage mini sheep in wall decorations. Where do you find the animal stuff in this menu? This crazy menu? Styled rooms, 
roof patterns, outdoor plants, outdoor water decor, and terrain tools. Just turn the house into one filthy barn, and don't tempt me. Objects by function, off the grid, pets. Water features, off the grid, what's off the grid? Oh yeah, look at all this, this is all my, all the stuff I have in my house right now is off the grid. Pets. There's prairie grass here. Oh, we need some of this prairie grass. Okay, nice. There's a hay now animal feeder. Sleepy time pet bed. There's a horse bed. This is an enormous horse bed. Jeez. There's an there's a pet sleep station. A Mr. Tinkle's litter box. Do you think that um, that Creamy can just sleep on this thing for now? Probably, right? Let's give him a little bowl as well. Okay, Creamy, I'm hoping that you can just do this. Okay, I'm gonna fill up your food bowl, Creamy. And then I'm going to harvest this prairie grass. Maybe the, the, hey look, Barry's playing with his ball. Do I remember the zoo game? Do I? Like touching a cloud from, from harvesting prairie grass. Peter made a discovery while searching the prairie grass. Onion. This item can be found in the Sims inventory. We got we got a free onion. Maybe we need to start doing some farming on the Oh, hang on a second. I don't think Creamy is gonna sleep on this. Actions, put in inventory, rename, trade for, and lock the camera. When can we start um we're gonna need to make a bed, right? For um for Barry. Barry's going to get really tired. It can't intersect with other objects. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, Barry, go to bed. Do you know what? Hang on one second here. We're going to have to move some furniture around and stuff, right? Because I think that we could potentially... I think we could potentially have Barry in the house. Maybe we make the house... We, we transform the house into a horse barn. This is a nice little house, isn't it, Erica? It's good. I think we need... Um, I think we need to figure out how to make a bed for the sheep as well. This is a hay now horse water trough. Pets, pet toys, pet care. Litter laser, self-cleaning litter box. Okay, I don't think Sheepy's gonna s sleep on this or eat from this either. Barn? Barn double door? Barn dollhouse? Through the roof barn window? Appliances, storage, off the grid, water features, comfort, surfaces, plumbing, activities, and skills. Objects by room. Columns, spandrels, what the heck, water decor, outdoor plants, terrain. I don't know where the uh, where the the sheep sleep. Like, is it just on this hay or something? Can Barry go upstairs? I don't know if Barry can go upstairs actually. 
We gotta figure it out. Okay, let's start moving some of this stuff around. Let's put that in there. Okay, the kitchen's gonna have to move. Um, that's fine. Let's put the fridge. Where can we put the fridge? The fridge can go there. Let's get the oven here. Okay, this is perfect. This is gonna be just perfect. We're gonna turn the living room into like kind of a hybrid living room kitchen area. I think we're gonna have to shrink the bedroom a little bit too. Okay, let's do it. We don't need these things here for now. Do we need a... We don't need a second sink. There's one in the bathroom. That's not useful. Okay, how many garbage cans do we need? Just one, right? All right. Now, if I go into walls. Yes. Let's get rid of this as well. Okay, we can have the horse chandelier. That's fine. That's better. And look, there's still room for our bed in here too. Perfect. Creamy, calm down. Now look at, we could just be, maybe we should move some of this stuff in here too. Okay, maybe there isn't room for the bed in here now. You know what? Okay, let me just move the bed out here for now. Whoops. I think I bought a, an extra bed by accident. Okay, let's put that there. What's this? It's not mission critical, so it can go. Now we're talking. What's this? Is this uh, where Creamy's meant to sleep? Okay, we don't need any of this stuff now. We've moved Barry indoors so that we can... We have more space on our lot now to do some farming if we need to, right? Yes. Call over Barry. All right. So, if we go to outdoor plants, shrubs, flowers... How do I grow um, onions? Is it in my inventory? Onion. Plant. Drag this item to the world to... Oh, I see. Eat the onion. Prairie grass hay. We can sell two prairie grass hay for eight bucks. We're rich. I can't believe it. Where did my onion go? Did he just put it on the floor? Is this it here? Eat the onion. Okay, we'll get some more onions soon. Hey, look it! Creamy, don't do that! Barry, don't do that! 
Assign bed. Barry Manilow. Okay, Barry Manilow. Go sleep on your bed. Okay, let's brush his coat. Peter Pennywhacker's gotten changed for another exciting day on the ranch. Can he fit in the door? I don't know. We might have to remove the door if he can't get in. I think he's got the, the dexterity he needs on his hooves. Sims will now be able to talk about social life with Barry. Also, specializa socializations with Sims and other horses are even more likely to succeed with Barry. Did you like that, Barry? He's thinking about underpants. He's done a huge... Only a real neat freak would attempt to mop up a puddle of natu on natural ground. Creamy is drinking Barry's pee off the ground. This ranch is insane. I'm pretty sure that Barry made that puddle. <laughs> Circle of life, yeah. The house needs to be lowered for Barry to get inside? Okay, let me make some adjustments then. How, how many... How many are we talking? How many lowerings are we talking here? So he's not going to be able to get in here at all? Okay, I lowered it. Not the whole porch. Why well, we don't need the porch. It's fine. Remove wall? Medium wall? Tall wall? Copy? I think let's leave it how it was. I love the music. Barry, that's not how you play with the ball. Uproot the plant. We don't want to uproot it. Let's go harvest some prairie grass. You think Barry needs a bigger door? All right, hold on a second. Okay, we can test it. We can we can call the horse to drink, right? He can go in no problem, chat. Look, he's in the house now. Good job, Barry. Good job. Look, we've made we successfully made a barn for him. Barry can use the front door. Okay, we're gonna call Creamy over here to eat. Did we find anything in this? No. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we're thinking about basketball. Very nice. We can go do some fishing. We can drink an aged nectar. There's nothing like a good aged nectar to ease the soul. Age your nectar in a nectar rack purchased in build, build mode. Nectar rack. A rancher's stackable nectar storage rack. Any nectar enthusiast's favorite way to store their sweet, sweet nectar. With room for 13 bottles each, the storage rack can be can be stacked vertically or side by side to line the walls of any Sims dream nectar cellar, or left in solitude as a cute standalone cabinet. All right. basically like prison in here so we're gonna make toilet nectar nice okay we need a nectar maker as well I believe nectar maker in outdoor activities this is a root and fruit and nectar maker 
Welcome to the one-stop shop for all your nectar-making needs. With this bad boy, Sims can get started crafting simple nectars. Then work up to the big league re recipes. Keep your nectar corked and let it age to perfection. Consider pairing with the nectar rack to speed up the process. It doesn't seem to want to let me build it here for some reason. Oh, because it's intersecting with some other objects. But here it's not. Okay, good. I wonder what other objects it was uh, intersecting with. Oh. I see the roof is all screwed now that I got rid of the porch. I think it's okay, though. We can maybe just put a column there or something. All right. How's it going in here? It looks like everybody is pretty happy with the ranch. <laughs> oh, boy. Nice. Peter's just taking a dump. Put Colin here. Colin? Hello, Colin. Okay. I'll tell you what. It's time to rescue another horse. Who are we going to get this time? Good neighbor. Defiant, aggressive, and mellow? What about free spirit, needy, and defiant? Or aggressive, needy, and fearful? Free spirit, needy, and fearful. Needy, aggressive, and mellow. Or needy, fearful, and aggressive. Good neighbor. Welcome to the ranch. We got a lot of space, yeah. We got tons of space for horses here. It's a pretty big lot, actually. I think we might have to pet Creamy when we get back or or do something. I'm not sure. First name, um, Elvis. Last name, Presley. Nice. Nice. We now have two horses. And I'm pretty sure the horses... This is a small horse. Look at this guy. It's like a baby. Let's do a gentle touch. That's nice. That is nice. Is there any water around here to do some fishing? We're going to have to live off, off the grid. We're going to run out of money soon. Where do you think the best... Aha. There's a bit of water here, but I don't think we can just go and do fishing. There, you probably There's probably a set spot, right? You probably need like a dock or something. Oh, maybe you can't uh, do any fishing. we got to train up our horses so that we can win a huge competition with them. I think that's going to be the best thing to do, right? You got to look for fishing signs. All right, okay. Yeah. Whoa. Barry, you can't use the oven. A uh, hey now horse bed. There's not a smaller horse bed, is there? It's only five bucks for prairie grass. It's a really good value. All right, nice. Um, horse. Horse jumps. Horse in beds. Horse in pet furniture. Horse. Off the grid. Off the grid crafting. What about a woodworking table? Whether you you actually fix things or just like to, or just like to think you do, no sim should go without a respectful workbench. Oh, neat. Okay, let's put the nectar rack. 
closer to where we need it, right? Okay, let's craft some apple nectar. What do we need? Three apples? Okay, we're going to make an apple nectar now that I've purchased three apples. I'm sure I could have maybe um, harvested some apples from a tree for free. But instead, I chose to um, get an Uber Eats delivery of three apples. Peter's purchased ingredients can be found in his inventory. These ingredients can also be grown with gardening, which will prove more cost-effective over time. Okay, good. Oh, he's stamping it manually with his big hairy legs. Gross. He's got a bit of a baboon ass as well, um, Peter Pennywhacker. Well, it looks like he's got one because of the underpants he chose to wear. Uh oh. Oh. Jesus. Barry, that is a mountain of crap. All right, well. That's dinner tonight, at least, I guess. We're, we're not going to have any money if we keep going. Hey, wait a second. Where did I get 3868 bucks from? I've gained money. What, when, when did I make so much money? Oh, I sold a lot of stuff. You're right, I did. I sold the porch. I did sell the porch. That's right. I sold half of my house. This guy is really struggling. Okay, I don't think we need uh, this. We acquired the nectar-making skill. This whole thing can go. Um... That can go. This can go. This can go. This can also go. Now we're talking. Okay, now I can finally move my bed back inside. I can be with my with my animals. Perfect. A uh, dual dual public outhouse. What about a cask and barrel antique tub? That's kind of cool. I like the off-the-grid ranchy sort of looking stuff. It's nice, isn't it? Okay, that's better. Oh. Hey, look. Peter has acquired his first bottle of apple nectar. Information about apple nectar has been added to his notebook. All right. We have to drink an aged nectar, apparently. Okay, we're gonna we gotta store our nectar and let it age over time. Meanwhile, hey, where's the other horse? Huh? <gasps> Where'd he go? Oh, he's back here. Okay, good. Okay, Barry, don't worry. Um, we're gonna rub your neck in a sec. Oh, look, yeah, my nectar is there. One out of 13. I like how it updates visually. You can store all of your nectar. <coughs> Get the cow going, Mason. He's back there hanging out with Creamy. Yeah, he loves that. Okay, you want to tell the horse a joke? Let's calm him down a bit, actually. Barry... Calm down, mate. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the manure. Whoa, whoa. Who Let's cue this up. Peter's gonna have to have some sort of uh, bath or a wash or something at some point, right? Okay, good job, Peter. Um, let's train Elvis to eat prairie grass. Elvis! Osta. Over here. Oh, look at He looks all clumsy. He's like a little... Look at how clumsy his legs are. 
Come from? Rupara, Musti. You got it, Elvis. Yes. But for now. Barry, why don't you go sleep in your bed? Oh, Lemana, Axin Slaboon, Flumel, Funso, Yano, Yano. Okay, I'm gonna call Barry over to his bed. Is he yelling at the... Hey, look at this. <laughs> what is it, Creamy? Somebody fell down the old well? Oh, no. Okay, we're stinking big time now. It's time to go have a shower, Peter. Hop to it. Leave the animals to it. They're fine. They can figure it out. They're, they're born with everything they need to know about this crazy earth. The animals are fine. What are you talking about? Look, they're fine. But Peter's just relaxing and he's having a nice steamy shower. When he's done, we can shear... Oh, look, we can shear him for 22 bucks. Wow. Okay, let's bottle feed Creamy for 4 bucks. Since we're, we're flush now, we got 4,412 bucks. No problem. That's good. We're going to teach Elvis how to make nectar. This I can't wait to see. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Very creamy, creamy. Good job. Good job. Um, all right, let's go tell a joke to Elvis Presley. And after we've done that, let's um let's tell a joke to Barry Manilow as well. Strum, strum, gasha, gasha, laga. <laughs> Elvis Presley loved that joke. That's all the nectar for today, folks. Hope to see you again soon. What? I got my own here, actually. Finely aged nectar bottles. Where's Creamy? Oh, he's here. Okay. Let's talk about cotton candy life. What is that? Chores. Ask for gardening help. Let's shear him. It's twenty. There's twenty-two bucks in it for us. Barry's heartbroken. I guess he just doesn't like the joking around. He just wants to go inside his horse house. He just wants to chill. He wants to watch some TV. Here we go. Man, Creamy is loving that. We're telling him all about crabs. Now we're talk talking to him about some frogs. We made 22 bucks. There's a lot of work to do on a ranch, it turns out. Okay. What nectar will we craft next? We need three grapes. Let's buy three strawberries as well. This is going to cost us 255 bucks. God, that's expensive as heck. Let's grow our own instead. How do you do gardening? Gardening. Garden gate, garden friend, land coral garden. Here we go. Outdoor activities. A garden planter box. Okay, let's get some seeds. A little rancher bedroll sleeping bag. This sleeping bag is the perfect way for your little rancher toddler to drift to sleep counting mini sheep under the big open night sky. There's a garden pot here as well. Okay, I don't know what we're going to plant in there, but we're going to figure it out. What about a ranch community board? This community board provides valuable information on the local residents and all things ranch related. You can purchase animals, learn about animal care, sign up your horse for training. You can also hire a ranch hand. I'm going to need a ranch hand for sure. Let's get one of these boards. It's a small ranch. 
but it's a ranch all the same, right? Uh, ranch animal community jobs, enter competition, learn about residents, horse train, hire ranch hands. Who can we hire? Oh, man. Ranch hands for hire. All the top ranchers know the bigger the ranch, the harder it is to run all by yourself. Why not hire a ranch hand? A good ranch hand is around from morning to evening and helps out with livestock care, general repairs, and gardening. If asked, they'll even help bring in the harvest. Any productive, well-oiled machine of a ranch is going to want one. I'm doing it. Um, repair service. It's a hundred. It's a hundred bucks a day plus twelve bucks an hour. No problem. Let's do it. We, there's still way more of the house that we can sell if we run into tough times. Thank you for contacting Buckaroo Brigade Ranch Services. We help ranchers with livestock care, general repairs, and gardening. Your hired ranch hand will work every day from seven to seven. That's great. Oh, now Peter can do painting. Hi there, I'm your ranch hen. The name is Johnson. Nice to meet y'all. I'm good with animals, plants, and repairs. Let me know and I'll handle it. This ranch is going to run like a well-oiled machine. Holy crap, we got our own cowboy. Okay. Catnip, starter flowers, starter fruits. Yeah, we want to... We, we're going to go on like an all-fruit diet here. Let's buy... 280 bucks worth of fruit seeds. Perfect. Open seed packet. Okay, we're just talking to the... We're talking to Johnson. Hawk Johnson. What's this? Grape seeds. Nice, nice. Well, let's plant some grape. We're going to make some of the finest grape nectar you've ever had in your life. His name is not Hog Johnson, no. The greenest of thumbs, Peter's flourishing as much as his crop of germinating plant friends. Is this budding emotion a sign that he likes gardening? Yes, it sure is. Peter is just living his best life right now. He's surrounded by animals. He's hired a rancher to help out named Hawk Johnson. He's got a little sheep named Creamy. And he's got two really, really sweet and cool and fun horses as well. One named Barry Manilow and the other one is named Elvis Presley. Can you take a selfie with Creamy? I don't know. Can you? That might be fun. Hey, look, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying to get involved. Let's plant some more grapes. Hawk Johnson can do all the... Look at Hawk Johnson. What are you doing to Creamy? You son of a bitch. Get away from him. What is it? Four? Or is it six plants per, per thing? I'm not sure. Let's keep planting. I love gardening. From liking gardening. Peter is in his element, and because he's doing something he prefers, increase his fun gains. He is loving that. Okay, more grapes. Hawk Johnson, stop osmosing through my horse. It's not allowed. That's the number one rule of, of uh, the Wacker Ranch. You can take pics with the phone in the bottom left. Camera. Take a cell take a photo with Hawk Johnson. I don't think I can take a picture with my animals, but I can take one with Hawk Johnson. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. How do you, um, wait, change pose? Flirty.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Photos remaining. Four. Just the one is fine. <laughs> Photographer Peter, Peter Pennywhacker. It's worth ten bucks. Okay, let's sell this picture. That's the easiest ten bucks I've ever made. That's crazy. Okay, let's plant some more grapes here. You can put the picture up in the house as well. Nice. So, don't worry, Erica. We can always take another one. It's not the last picture that we're going to take. Normal quality horse manure. I just sold normal quality horse manure for 15 bucks. Barry, do more shitting. Oh, a grape failed to germinate. Okay, let's open the seed packet and see what else we got in here. Looks like we got some uh, bananas. All right, we're getting a little bit hungry. Uh, we don't need to feed uh, Hawk Johnson. Oh, man. Okay, let's clean up this manure. It looks like Barry's given us another 15 bucks. Every time... He pushes 15 bucks out of his ass. You can't help but be happy, right? All right. Let's have a quick meal. Um, how about some cereal? Oh, yeah. Here we go. That's the stuff. Oh, my God. Put Creamy down, you monster. You put the TV on, maybe. Uh, maybe he doesn't need to put the TV on. It's fine. Just like a drug mule. Barry Manilow doesn't seem to want to... Um... Okay, let's... Oh, yeah, we're just doing the dishes in the bath bathroom sink. Well, it's because the house has been converted into a bit of a ranch now, so... Okay, we're calling the horse over to go to bed. Barry, it's time to go to bed. Stop horsing around out there. Lay down. He's done it. Why is Peter crying in the bathroom in the mirror? Can't help it. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Easy, Barry. Easy. I love that he could just sit on his bed and watch TV. That's good. Hawk Johnson, you're not supposed to be in the house while I'm in the house. Go outside. All right. It's time to craft a bit of nectar. We got grapes. We got grapes. Let's do it. Holy crap. Look at this. I'm going to have to harvest all this prairie grass as well. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're go we're, we got to we got to think of more ways to make money. We want to have a well-oiled ranch that makes a ton of money. It's got to be the way, right? Time to shoot the horse. Are you crazy? <laughs> Look at the size of our ranch. It's so small. Oh man. That's ridiculous. Hawk Johnson doesn't seem to care at all, though. Look, he's just in there cleaning up horse piss and whatever. He just doesn't care. No ranch is too big. No ranch is too small. Hawk Johnson will ranch them all. Can you, tr can you race the horses? Yeah, you can. You can train them and you can enter them into competitions and stuff. There's an equestrian center. And there's a whole bunch of horse-related activities. No, the the horses only cost 250 bucks. We rescued them. I don't know if we can breed them. I don't, I'm not sure what what uh, what gender the horses are. I didn't check. 
I think they're I think they're both male. I'm not sure though. If your nectar business doesn't work out, you can always get into the glue industry. True, true. Peter has acquired his first bottle of grape nectar. Nice. Okay. Peter's dedication to rancher life pays off again. He knew just how to stomp and extract an extra bottle's worth of nectar from his batch. That is insane. Come on, Peter. It's time to store your nectar before you go to bed. Hey, look at this. Elvis Presley has reached temperament level two. All thanks to the, this our rancher doing a good job. Elvis Presley's going to need his own horse bed soon, too. We got an extra bottle of nectar. I can't believe it. That's insane. Do we have room for another horse bed out here, even? I don't know if we do. We might have to... We might not. We, we might need to relocate some things. Okay, let's get this ranch board over here. Let's get this grass moved over here too. How do you um how do you do uh, how do you duplicate um an item? Sell, place in inventory? Is there a way? How do you how do you search for the bed or duplicate it? Hold shift and place it. All right. Oh, I see. That's good. Okay, now we got two horse beds. I don't think we can have a sheep bed. Okay, Elvis Presley, you gotta sleep outside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you have to sleep outside. And you can't play with the ball the same time as Barry. Barry's already playing with the ball. Peter's asleep! Wait, what time is it? Why is... Why is... um Why is Hawk Johnson still here? It's 10 p.m. Go home, Hawk Johnson. Ranch hand. Assign chores. Gardening, repairs. Yeah, all the above. Maybe there's just so much for him to do that he wasn't able to finish it all up. We're paying through the nose for all this. It's like 12 bucks an hour for him to stay to stay extra. I'm not comfortable with him using my bathroom either. Like, there is an outhouse just down the road that he could be using instead. Thank God we got the big bucks. Yeah, I know. We're not going to be running out of money anytime soon, that's for sure. I can't believe it's like 10 o'clock at night and everybody's still awake. Barry, don't go to the bathroom in there. That's the people bathroom. Elvis, not you too. What's going on? Oh. I think they're bullying Hawk Johnson. He seems stuck in here. <laughs> He's been backed in. Nice. Come on, Barry. Go to bed. It's bedtime. Let's all get some shut eye. Tomorrow's another day. Let's freshen up for another day tomorrow. Come on, in you go. Yeah, Barry doesn't like to sleep in his bed. I feel like Barry's ready to go to bed, but he's just going to fall asleep standing up again. You know why is Barry so sad? I don't know. He's a rescue horse. Maybe he saw some shit before, you know? Yeah, we sign I signed the beds, yeah. This one is assigned to Barry Manilow. And this one is assigned to 
Elvis Presley. Why a new horse instead of a rescue horse? No. No, that's not how we're, that's not how we're rolling here. Don't step on Creamy. Focus on assigned horse. Ask horse to come here. Put it in inventory. Assign bed. Elvis Presley. Assign one to Hawk Johnson. I don't know why Hawk Johnson is still here. He's holding court in my bathroom right now. For some reason. <laughs> I don't know what Hawk is doing. It's uh it's 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 past midnight and Hawk is still here. He's gonna run into his next shift. Send him home. He should have gone home before. Actions open profile ranch hand ask to collect manure, water plants, harvest plants, make a repair. Actions we could fire. Assigned chores. Already assigned everything. Oh, well, let's just see how it plays out. We'll just see how it goes. Fire him out of a cannon. I can't. <clears throat> Asleep plus 10,000. Sleeping soundly from sleeping. Z, 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 Z. He's just stuck in the bathroom, this guy. He's got nothing nothing to do. Look at I can't believe it. It's 1 a.m. and he's still here. All right, well. I'm going to have to wake up and take a dump, unfortunately. One of those sneaky midnight dumps. Excuse me. Just got to get... <laughs> just got to get Reddit open. <laughs> I'm taking a dump. No, it's not Hawk from Twin Peaks. No, it's uh, it's uh, Johnson, Hawk Johnson. Look, Barry won't sleep in his bed. He's sleeping outside. He's sleeping outside under the stars. Oh my God! Don't talk to me. What the hell? He wants to do a selfie. Wait, I think Hawk Johnson might be a, a female, actually. Jarbin de Colf, yeah, that's right. Who'd have, who'd have thought, right? Uproot the plant? No, we don't want to uproot the plant, right? <coughs> yeah! <laughs> What is going on in here? Why does the focal point seem to be the bathroom? Everything is happening in there. Oh, nice. Was it a nice a nice cereal dinner? Harvest some prairie grass? Okay, let's do it. Let's harvest this prairie grass. Just let Barry reverse out. There we go. Another day. It's another day is up, is upon us. It's 2 a.m., but you got to start your day s sometime. It's, t it's 2 in the morning. Hey, oh, maybe... Hey, look! Oh, finally! Jeez, some peace and quiet. Johnson left. Thank God. We, we found a cherry. Oh, my God. Okay, check this out. A pair of small red fruits with pits. It's time to plant the cherry. That's great. Clean self. Refill an animal feeder. Make friends with a horse. These are all things that we can definitely do. I don't know what Barry's doing with that ball. Oh, the cherry failed to germinate.
Wait, you just left the cherry on top? How did the ball not pop? I know, Barry's huge. Oh, it failed again. Oh, you got to put it on a more open space, apparently. So maybe it needs its own, uh, uh, like a big planter. Where's my cherry? Eat the cherry. Okay, let's try planting it here. Where is Elvis Presley? I thought he was in the bathroom, but... He... Whoa! Uh -huh. Did you see that teleportation move? Here we go. Look, he's planting it right in the middle. That means that it's going to occupy the whole thing, right? Okay, let's clean, let's clean up all of this poo. There's some really fresh poo here as well. Nice, nice. All right, the bin is getting really stinky. It's like 15 bucks per dump. Insane. Peter's learned about an outstanding quality horse manure. Nice. Outstanding quality horse manure. Okay, Peter. Go and have a shower. You'll you'll feel better. We we have to clean and then we're going to refill this animal feeder as well. Uh, refill feeder costs 30 bucks. We can refill it with prairie grass if I harvest some more prairie grass. Let's harvest all of our prairie grass. What are we waiting for? All right, we took half a shower, but the, the ranch isn't going to tend itself. We got to get out here. We got to work. Is Creamy okay? I hope so. I haven't seen him for a while, actually. Where is he? Creamy, where are you? Oh, yeah, no, he's fine. Yeah, he's sleepy. He's just having a sleep. Quill fruit. What's quill fruit? We got some more. A tomato. These seeds are expensive as well. This is great. We're making some really good money here. And we're so, sorry, we're saving some money here. And we should be able to fill up the trough with prairie grass as well. Creamy is just sleeping. Creamy is definitely sleeping. We can sell Creamy for 180 bucks. It's pretty good, actually. How much can we sell... Um, Oh, look, we can cheer up Barry. Oh, we can figure out what's wrong with Barry as well. Apparently, there's something wrong with Barry. Dirt Whirl Frog. What is that? Oh, my God. Okay, outstanding quality horse manure sells for 20 bucks. And we got some normal quality manure as well. Look, this is... We got, like, a little aquarium. We found a frog and we put it in a box straight away and maybe we can put this in our house somewhere. We found some potato nectar. What? Does that is that a, an actual bottle of nectar? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. That was discovered inside a prairie grass. Can you believe it? That's wild. Okay, we'll figure out what's wrong with Barry after all this. All these chores are done. We found a normal quality horse manure. You, we can fertilize this. Peter does not have enough gardening skill to do this, but we'll hang on to all this manure because we can fertilize our. Once we get more gardening skill, we can fertilize all of our plants with all of this. This, I love this. This, the cycles, you know, so good. 
You can click and drag items from that box into the world. Oh, really? Okay, where are we going to put this frog? Perfect. Right next to the TV. Frogs love watching TV. This is one thing I've learned about frogs in my time. A horse age up tree. Okay, hold on a second. Bottle feed, cradle, horse care. Feed an age up treat. Elvis Presley, it's time for you to become a full adult horse. We found this in the prairie grass. Elvis aged up. Elvis has grown from full to an adult horse. He can now be ridden, trained, entered in competition, and can mate with other horses. Hooray for Elvis! <laughs> wow, Elvis! Holy crap! What a stallion! Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's incredible. What can you actually do with this? It's an uncommon frog. Oh, look who's back. It must be 7 a.m. Johnson's back. Frickin' Johnson, eh? Okay, let's, st let's store all of our nectar bottles. Sell the frog. How much for? 120 bucks? A hundred and twenty bucks. <coughs> He's just looking at it. Okay. It's time. F What's this? There's a dirt world frog in this terrarium. Dirt world frog. Nice. Is my inventory full or something? No. Oh, we picked it up. Okay, nice. What's a glow orb? What does a glow orb do? This was also found outside. Oh, Peter's going back to sleep at 8 a.m. What the heck, Peter? Oh, I guess he is low on energy. Okay. Hopefully Johnson will uh, will water all the plants. It looks like possibly Johnson has watered all the plants. Let's get some more grapes going. <laughs> Shout at the orb. Okay, I'll do it. I'm on it. Let's socialize with with. <laughs> Creamy. Let's play with Creamy. All right, Creamy. I'm coming in. It's playtime. I have to make friends with a horse. Oh, yeah, I got to refill this animal feeder, too. Okay, I'm going to refill it with my own prairie grass. This is where, this is where we finally start, um, you know... Making the money back, big time. Okay, let's shear creamy for forty-five bucks. I can't believe it. Forty-five bucks, you can shear him like every day. I think. Living off the land. Living off the land. Living, living off the land. Plant something. Oh, it's too late. 
Um, I'll tell you what, though, actually. We could plant some more stuff. Okay, what are we planting this time? A cherry? A plantain? Another grape. Okay, let's go. Don't clean that nasty, dirty lamb inside the house. I'm filthy. I wasn't cleaning him. I was shearing him. And that this, this house is pet friendly. Entirely pet friendly. So don't worry about it. Okay, we're not listening to Elvis anymore. We're canceling this one. Cease listening to Elvis. Let's plant this this grape. Change into nude. What the heck? Normal manure? Starter fruits? Whoa! Elvis, please! Elvis is going crazy! Okay, our hygiene is suffering. Encourage horses to breed. What's wrong? Hand feed, hug, rub neck. More choices. Horse care. Change outfit. We can plan an outfit for Elvis. Oh my god. Can you imagine you could dress him up like in an in like one of those Elvis jumpsuits? <laughs> Alf Sabak. Wait, this isn't Elvis. This is a Tennessee Walker. Edit relationships. I don't think you can put any clothes on Elvis. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. No, you can't. You can't edit. Uh, Elvis is a pre-existing. Done. Oh, you got to click on him. Of course you do. Yeah, I think we. Wake up, Elvis. Why is it? Elvis is sleeping on his bed? It's true, but he's sleeping standing up. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit flimmy. I love that the horses just sort of take care of themselves, like it's no problem. I guess it's kind of kind of true to life too, right? I feel like most animals kind of know what they need to do. That's what they would do in the wild, yeah. All right, Johnson. Take it easy out there. Don't get too carried away, okay? We're trying to run a, cl a clean ranch here. Ask horse to play. You can actually ask a horse to play. Okay, let's ask Barry Manilow if he wants to play. Here comes Peter. Peter's lining up a really fun afternoon for you, Barry. I hope you can appreciate. Alright, we're gonna have to go... We're gonna have to break Elvis as well, right? We're gonna have to break in Elvis? I think this manure looks like it's extra stinky. I don't know what kind of manure this is. It's poor quality manure. Okay. It's time to mount Elvis. It's time to break Elvis. Let's go. 
Where's the lube? <laughs> oh, where's the lube? Okay, Elvis, it's time. Elvis is going to learn a couple of, of cool skills here. Let's go, Elvis. His first big jump. Success. This guy is going to go the distance, I think. No problem. I feel like Elvis Presley is going to go the distance. He's going to be a championship horse one of these days. Oh. I take it back. I take it back. I don't think he's going to be any good at all. He's too scared to jump. Try to give him an outfit again? Okay, I will. Hang on. Ride home. Dismount Elvis. Go for a relaxed ride. More choices. Uh, horse care. Plan outfits. Okay, I'm just going to plan... Uh, Elvis's outfit now. Ouch. Okay. Oh, Lavoy, my big. Oh yeah, you're right. You can. Look, check this out. You give him a little top hat. You can put a cool blanket on him. You give him some cool horse socks. With flames? Oh my god, man. This is amazing. What about a cool saddle? Oh, that is really nice. Nice saddle. Really good saddle. Accessories? That is incredible too. Look at this. Look at these everyday accessories. Okay, lay down, Elvis. Let's see what you look like. Oh, man. Okay, good. Okay, Barry. We, we can't leave out Barry. <laughs> Let's give Barry uh, slightly different socks. Oh, that's nice. Barry, you are looking fantastic. Holy crap. How about you have... It's a shame there's no American flag one. That would have been really good. That would have just been fantastic. Okay, looking good, Barry. Let's see what you look like laying down. Perfect. 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 Barry Manilow is a free spirit, aggressive, needy Palomino. Palomino. I got bad news for you. We thought Elvis was a horse, but he ain't nothing but a hound dog. Okay. Okay, let's talk to Elvis. Elvis, what's going on? Wash, Gombra Bocaro, Banji. What? Okay, Peter. Go sort yourself out. Go and sort yourself out, Peter. You'll be fine. Go have a wash and go to bed. Johnson can can sort the rest out, right? Man, the ranch is coming along real nice. Look at that. We got some we got some plants growing. We got some nice horses. We got a, a little baby sheep named Creamy that Johnson seems to be playing with right now. <laughs> we've dressed up we've really dressed up our horses nicely as well. Look at that. Really good. It's a bit of a cue to get back into the house. Hawk's gonna quit if I don't shower. Okay, let's queue up a nice, a nice hot shower. Let's take a steamy one. All right, Peter Pennywacker's thinking about a shower. Really needs a shower. Needs to go put his bathing suit on before he gets into the shower, though. Needs to put on his jean shorts. Can you dress creamy? No, I don't think he can. He wasn't an option in the in the dressing up thing. Elvis, what are you doing? Who said you were allowed into um 
into the Wacker Ranch. We can dress Creamy with some mint sauce. <laughs> Poor Creamy. Poor Creamy. That's not how it's going to go down with Creamy, okay? All right. Hygiene is back on track. Very good. We're low on energy. But we've had a clean Hello. self. Ah. Click on a bath or shower and run the appropriate interaction to clean up. We're doing it right now. It's taken all day. We're having a, just an all-day shower here. Nice. Okay, it's time to use the toilet. Nice, feeling great. Feeling perfect. Okay. Let's um have a quick meal. No, it's bedtime. Okay, we'll eat when we wake up. It's uh it's it's time to go to bed at three PM. Man, what would we do without Johnson though? He's really holding it down out there. She they Them. Asleep. Click to expand. Flirty? Happy? Embarrassed? Uncomfortable? And even more uncomfortable. Lots of discomfort. Um, Give me two seconds. I just got to go to the bathroom. Keep an eye on my ranch while I'm gone. I'll be right back. Back. Guess what? You'll never guess what. You might guess what. I got some tea as well. Um, did anything uh, happen while I was gone? It looks like everything is still under control, except uh, Johnson has left. Clean. Okay, let's clean out our nectar maker with vigor. Peter got swole. Are you serious? That can happen? Okay. Got some free manure as well. We've got to improve our gardening. We've got to improve our gardening skills. Just having a quick chat to Barry. No problem. We can hand feed him. We can give him a hug. Let's hug Barry. Sure. Come on, Barry. Bring it in. Let's see. Let's see what a man hugging a horse looks like. Oh, that is so sweet. Look, he loved that. More choices. Let's go for a ride. Let's go for an energetic ride, Barry. Come on, let's go. Don't tell anyone. I like these rides the best. Maybe this will help us bond and become the best of friends eventually. <clears throat> Hugging horses is cute, but their head is freaking heavy if they rest it on your shoulder. Do horses try to do that? We're trying to go for an energetic ride here, but there seems to be some <laughs> some horse overlap. It's okay. <laughs> Elvis's ass is just... <laughs> it's just like a pom-pom on his head. Oh! Oh, Peter has reached level 3 of the horse riding skill. How has this happened? We're not even riding the horse right now. I think the horses being indoors is like messing everything up. There's like some pathing or something. I think the game thinks that they're having an energetic ride right now. <laughs> but they are not. He just it's just thinking about having a ride and that's helping him skill up. Okay, maybe it's time to um <clears throat> Oh. Peter needs to meet Luna first. 
Okay, Elvis. <laughs> it's your chance. Where is this horse? Where is this horse? Assign left side of the bed to. <laughs> I thought Creamy was going to come up in the list. Oh, that would have been really good. I think we're I think we're like doom locked into go for an energetic ride with Barry. I don't know if it's because we're on the ride right now or what. Can you please put my bedroom on the front porch, please? Can somebody call an exorcist, please? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> it looked like Barry was having a lot of fun, though. Whatever it was. Just wait till I faint. No, no, it was a close one, but it didn't quite happen. Okay, let's get this manure cleaned up. As soon as we wake up, let's get a full sleep. It's 8 a.m. Time to perfection. That's like a decent time to wake up in the morning. Yeah, I think the horses give live births in this game, Bruce. If that's uh, if that's what you want to see. And honestly, I think you can do it like pretty quick. You wouldn't need to wait like hundreds of hours for it to happen or anything. Like I think most things happen pretty quick in this game, so it's uh, it's fine. Downloading instantly. I I should mention that the base game I, I think is free now. Sims Four. You can you can get the base game for free, uh, but you'd have to buy the DLC. Ah! Let me just double check that for you. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Is that the case, chat? Don't check. You know. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's like thousands of pounds to get all the DLC, but... There's only one DLC you need realistically, and that's the Horse Ranch DLC, hashtag ad. Um... Uh, the, 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 it's it's it, it, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So true. Hashtag. I know. I know. I know. I like I like to speak mostly the truth. Craft some more nectar. It looks like we are out of. We can do prairie grass nectar, but I don't have the skills to do it. I meant nectar making level one. When can we harvest some of these plants? Who knows? We can't water the plant. We can harvest all of our prairie grass, though, again. God, it grows really fast. Jeez, we got tons of it, too. And the horses love to eat it. Nice. What are you eating there? What are you actually eating? Chat with Hawk. Catch a fish. Eat a food. Okay, how do you catch a fish? Where can you go fishing? Oh, look at this. There's got to be a place to go fishing on this map, right? Or is there not? Is this the whole map? I don't see a fishing spot. Oh, but wait. What's this? Look for frogs. Oh, there's probably a fishing spot around here somewhere. Maybe I'm just, like, going too fast. I'm looking in the wrong... Pl I'm looking for fish in all the wrong places. That's probably it. Is this... No... No? Oh, maybe there isn't one. Maybe there's not one. Maybe I'm missing a DLC. Mary Hawk, so it does the labor for free? It's not a bad idea, actually. Looks like we're chatting to Hawk right now. Hawk has turned up finally. Okay, I don't think there's a way to do any fishing, sadly. Get a frog collection. The Fishing Pond DLC? Oh, I see. Alright. Encourage horses to breed or eat food. Okay. Let's mount Barry. Barry's training must continue, right? Okay, Barry. Where to now? Nice. Okay, we're going for an intense ride, Barry. Let's go. All 
All right, good. Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> He's riding around the whole town. Oh, that's really good. Look at him go. Wee. Oh, that's good. You can lock the camera so you can watch him do this. Let's see if we can find that other horse while we're out here. That might be good, right? It looks like this. Look at this. It looks like there's a barn built into the house. Oh, that's giving me some good ideas. Maybe this is this is a good thing to tour the rest of the town. If you're looking to sell your homemade nectar, I'd be happy to purchase it for above face value due to current high demand. Who is this? Who's that guy? Okay, I might do it actually. Let me uh let me go home. We got some apple nectar. We got some potato nectar. And we got two grape nectars as well. 440 bucks? 140 bucks? Not to trot after mounting up, Peter is saddled with regret. Would it be safe to say that he dislikes horse riding? <laughs> no. Apple nectar? Okay, we sold all of our nectar, and we have made so much money, it's insane. We're rich, beyond our wildest dreams. And who would have thought, this time last year, if you would have told me you're going to have a ho two horses and a sheep living inside your converted ranch house, so that, the, that humans and animals could once again be as one, living together in holy macaroni, I would have said, get out of town, Buster Brown. That's ex that's what I would have said, and my pastor would have as well. My pastor definitely would have said that too to you, and he would have been real real peeved as well while saying it. What's next? Animal Crossing? Who needs Animal Crossing when you can buy this horse ranch DLC for the Sims 4 hashtag ad and do? Everything you can in that other game and more. Hashtag ad. Exactly. Nice. All right, Barry. Let me just do... Let's do a hug, okay? Barry, I didn't mean it when I, when I said that I was thinking about giving up on horse riding, okay? It's, it's water under the bridge. There, let's hug it out. Good, okay. Barry does not like... Okay, look, how about I hand feed you some prairie grass hay? Your favorite. Slurp, feed deep, feed deep. <laughs> there you go, Barry. Barry liked that a lot. Let's ask him how it's going. Barry, how are you doing? Huh? Minza Congoloya. <laughs> Fine. I think it's fine. Ask for cooperation during mounting. Nice. Okay, Johnson. Tend to my horse, please. When is it time to um, harvest? Oh, I think it tells you. Grapevine. Quality normal. A shrub vine that produces grapes. Oh my god, it takes forever for these things to grow, I think. By the looks of it. I'm being attacked. Johnson, I'm trying to eat my cereal here. All right, let's go and catch some... Let's go look for some frogs in here. Maybe we can have a... Like Giso said, maybe a frog collection is what's next for the Wacker Ranch. Yeah, we, I think we need to start uh, charging admission for people to come and view the ranch as well. You know, what if we were to do that? That would be pretty cool. Yeah, hey, look at this. This is nice, what they've done here. 
Now this looks like a real ranch. I mean, I've never been on a ranch before in my life, to be honest. But, oh, there's more prairie grass here. It's like public prairie grass for anybody to have a go at harvesting and seeing if they can find any cool treasures. I don't think we can do any fishing here. Maybe we want to get rid of this one. Click on a nearby fishing signpost to go fishing. There's got to be a, a fishing signpost somewhere, right? Or maybe there's not. What's this? Oh, dig. Oh, I'll come and check this out after I've caught some frogs. Oh. I found one. It's a striped eggplant frog. Cool. Okay, let's go dig here now as well. See what's there. We acquired the video gaming skill while we were out here. There is for sure somewhere. You'd expect it to be close to the water though, right? But I've, I've scanned all along the edge of the water and I don't see a sign for, for going to do some fishing. Unless maybe it's more like in the town. Can you make your own fishing spot? Like, could I make a, a lake on my ranch and do it that way or not? There is in the bottom left of the world, apparently, but you might have to travel. Oh, you mean leave this map? What, like to another world? Oh, I see. Like, there's this whole other area down here. And there's one here, too. Galloping Gulch. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I'm going to take my horses with me as well, apparently. Which one do we want to go to? Galloping Gulch? The gulch is chock full of gorgeous trails and stunning outlooks. Explore the gulch's wonders if you, as you honor the noble horses that have passed on at Steed's Rest. Or enjoy time under the stars at Saddle Summit Campgrounds. We go camping. Oh, who... Okay, who lives here? Is that Luna? Palomino Junction. Where the heck are we right now? We're here, right? This is where we live. So there's the Oak Barrel Bar. New Appaloosa. Duke's Hall, which is a park. The Rusty Horseshoe Nightclub. Sienna and Flapjack. Gooseman. Gooseman must be Luna, right? The Grove family? Although the Grove family could be Luna as well. Okay, I'm taking Elvis Presley with me. There's cheat codes. Biscuits Bastion. Who's this? It's Luna. Okay, Elvis. More choices. Um, actions. Friendly. Encourage to. Breed with. Okay, we have to meet Luna. Friendly introduction to Luna. All right, Elvis. Let's make it happen, baby. I've met Luna the horse, and I've decided that, yes, you may breed with Luna. <laughs> it's time to breed. There's no way they show this, right? Come on, Elvis. Show us what you got. Oh, 
Uh oh. They're breeding. Elvis is such a catch. Good job, Elvis. Uh, the only thing is, though, is that we don't. We need our own female horse, right? Because we're not going to be able to do anything with these babies. This, this, uh, it, it's, 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 it's the big horse monopoly, you know? Like, what can we do? They got us over the barrel here. Okay, let's see where this fishing spot is. Dowie said there's a broken pier or something somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. No, there's a bunch of bridges here. Here it is. Go fishing. All right. Okay, we did have to travel a bit, but we can now do just the greatest outdoor activity you can even think of. Go to custody court when the baby is born? Well, we might have to. We want Elvis's Elvis's children to uh, to be at home at, at Wacker Ranch. You know, it's not the biggest ranch. It's fine, though. It's fine. Okay, look at We got a striped eggplant frog. It's uncommon. It's only worth 10 bucks, though. We also got a fossil rock. Fossil rock. Maybe that might be some big money for us. Maybe we could become an archaeologist. Can you become an archaeologist in this? Dowie, how do you know so much about this game? How do you know so much about The Sims 4? You've been playing it in your spare time? Ah. Oh. Maybe he caught something? He's thinking about it. It's quite uncomfortable. He's had unbad. He's from eating too many quick meals or desserts. There's an imbalance in Peter's life right now. God, it takes forever to skill up in fishing. Scott, I bet you you can land some massive honkers, though. Maybe you can go like on a like on a uh, like to a fishing tournament and stuff. There's all the all the career stuff is crazy in this game, eh? Oh, what is it? Hey, Peter. Katarina Lynx has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Yeah, go for it. I don't give a shit. Do whatever you want. As long as it's after 7 p.m. I expect that ranch to be tip-top shape. I hope the date is at 7.01 p.m. You think that was like a play? I, like Johnson is trying to to make me like, you know, be like, no, don't go on a date. Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for Peter. Try fishing elsewhere until he has more skill or try using more valuable bait. We're going to brute force this one. We're brute forcing it, okay? Speed up time a little bit here too. He'll skill, he'll skill up. He's just got to learn the hard way. Nobody became the best fisherman that anybody's ever known overnight or in a day. It takes a lifetime to become a master at this craft. You know? You just got to keep going for it. Oh, man, we should have moved into this neighborhood close to where the fishing is. Because we got to travel here every time now? No way. Peter, don't even think about it. You're getting a fishing skill up today. Even if it... <laughs> Even if you drop dead in the middle of doing it. Uh oh.
<laughs> oh man, there's a big fire here. Take that big horse monopoly. Now we can go to now we can go to horse court and say, listen, I don't think that they're capable of looking after baby horses. Maybe we should be uh, taking care of them. Look at that. There's no way these people can be trusted with ba around baby horses. Come on. There's no way. There is no way. Okay, Peter. Your last chance. What's it going to be? He's so close. He's leveled up. Level 2 in the fishing skill. Peter can now catch bass, koi, and trout from fishing spots that contain them. Come on, Peter. It's time to bring one in. Maybe they don't have those those things here. It's 9 o'clock at night. Maybe we should go home. How do you go home? We got a new fit. A tetra. Oh, he's done it. Peter caught... A 0 0.34 kilogram tetra worth eight bucks. What else might be out there? Well, he's too tired to find out right now. He had to stay outdoor for stay outdoors for eight hours. I think he's already achieved that. We have to drink an aged nectar as well, which we do not have. Um, is there a quick way for me to go home or what? Camera options. You cannot do this during a fire. Oh, there's a an active fire which is preventing me from traveling home. I think we have to deal with the fire first. Okay, let's look for some frogs. Yeah. Click the home button? Where's that? On the portrait? Oh, this one. Go home, I see. So I was looking at the wrong portrait. Maybe we'll find a really rare frog. No, it's a stripe. It's a striped leaf frog. Another one. Getting in line. Getting in line for what? The bathroom? I don't think we can leave until this fire is out. It's still raging. we run in and put it out i don't know it, will we make some money doing that hey look these horses are still making out down here oh my god elvis is leaving gifts as well peter's just off to grill some plantains <laughs> i guess we just live outside now we're not allowed to go back home He's doing it. Costs 17 bucks. God damn, he's going to eat six bananas? He must be really hungry. I mean, I guess he is pretty hungry. There's nobody here to... to oh, he's burnt them all. Look at that. It's disgusting. Oh, maybe he hasn't. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this. Look at him. Oops. I don't think he likes his, his barbecue banana much. He's feeling fine, it says. Grab a serving. Throw away. Put it. Let's just leave it there in case somebody else wants it. We're going to go have a chat with the horse now. Apparently. I think the fire is still... <laughs> what is happening? 
happening here? I think someone died. <laughs> I think somebody might have died in the house fire. I don't know why I'm laughing, but... Okay, it's time to go home. He's going to nap on a bench outside. I think we still can't go home. Oh, look, you can't take your horses on these bridges either. Man, oh man. So does that... So so a member of their household has perished in a fire? And that's that? And now their ghost will haunt the house forever? I don't know how it's come to this, honestly. We had a perfectly good um, co co cohabitation uh, house ranch going, and all we all we did was come here to do some fishing, and we're being held hostage. I don't get it. I don't know if you can breed with the Reaper. Maybe you can... Uh, oh, no, he seems to be gone anyway. This guy's kid is has shit his pants. And stinks. And it looks like the dad might have pissed on the ground out here, too. They just cannot go back into the house, it looks like. Maybe there's still... Oh, I see. The fire is spread now. Nobody is putting it out. Fire from nearby fire. Fire soon must extinguish fires or flee them. <laughs> I think he's just claimed another one. We can't do anything because there's this fire on the lot. Maybe we can speak to the child about the fire? Use my phone. Oh, yeah, to call the fire department? No, I can't do it because of the fire on the lot. If I leave the lot? I can't do anything now. Maybe if I stand in the water? No. I can't do anything. I'm being held hostage. Because of this fire on the lot. There's no, there's no fire department. Looks like the Grim Reaper is catching fire every time he goes up there as well. This is one heck of a fire. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We can't do anything. Oh. He's just coming out for for some fresh air. I think we're going to collapse soon. Elvis is feeling a bit bored. Consider placing a rubber ball for your horse to play with. I can't get back to the ranch. Unfortunately, there's this... Uh... Can we call him over? Oh, yeah. It worked. I can't do anything to him, though, because of the fire on the lot. Make friends with them. I can't. I can't knock on the door. I can't do anything. Anything I click click on, it, it won't let me. I think I just broke the game. Fire. Maybe if we just panic enough, the fire department will turn up. 
You gotta wait. Oh yeah, where is the kid? I don't know. There can't be anything left in this house after this, right? This is quite the fire. No. As one goes out, a new one starts. The eternal cycle of uh, house fire. Just gotta wait for everything to burn in here? Okay, no problem. Speed up time. Grim Reaper is just having some marshmallows out here. Nice launch. I wonder why the uh, owner of the house hasn't called the fire department. Let's use the phone. I can't. It won't let me. Look. It's not available. Because of the fire on the lot. I can't do anything. Oh, because the owner is dead? Oh, do you think that's what the Grim Reaper came over for? Oh, it's still, it's still spreading. The kid is back, look. <laughs> Who's this now? Oh. Oh, we passed out. Oh, we got into the toilet on the ground. ridiculous oh maybe it's on its way out now look it's got nowhere to go look there's less flames oh yeah look it's being it's being starved there's nothing else for it to catch fire uh, it seems to be growing again actually yeah no it's like raging once again it's caught on to everything uh, there was a little bit of hope for a minute there just a tiny bit there can't be that much left in the house now to burn, right? Got to go out in a minute. Then we can get we get Peter back to the ranch. No, we don't have any fuel to chuck on it. We just cannot interact with it at all. Barry Manilow's at home. Peter Pennywhacker just keeps passing out, look. Passing out and peeing on the ground. Who's this? This is Danny Davila. Umber Grove. Wren Grove. Starbright. A full filly. Okay, look. It's got nowhere to go now, right? Now that it's exposed to the elements outside, maybe the great rain will come and wash it away. Raid their bins for loot? You can't. I can't do I can't interact with anything while this fire is on. We're just sort of uh we're being held hostage here by this fire. There, look, it's almost out, I think. I don't think it's got anywhere else to go. It looks like a lot of the furniture upstairs has been charbroiled. If the fire makes it downstairs, though, that could be a problem. It looks like there's a lot of furniture down there. You think it'll spread all the way downstairs? I don't think the fire can go downstairs, right? The fire wants to go up, not down. Can I eat something in my inventory? I don't think I can. No. No. I can't do anything. While this fire is on.
Neither can these guys. Danny's starting to stink out here now, too. Who's this? Fresh meat. Come on and join the party. Look, even the Grim Reaper is starting to stink. The Grim Reaper is heartbroken. How did the fire start? I don't know. This is not even my house. We just came over to visit so that one of uh, my horses could um, could breed with one of their horses. And we, we managed to do it and then do some fishing. While we were fishing, this fire broke out and now we're stuck. Can't do anything. You can reload to fix it? I kind of just want to see what happens though. Maybe it, it will just sort itself out eventually. Look, there's only two fires burning. Maybe it's got nowhere to go now. <laughs> Wait, this is it. I got a feeling. Look, here we go. This could be it. This might be the last one. Look, it's got nowhere to go. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's happened. Okay, it's time to go home. Look at all these people are like crippled with uh, having to go pee and everything. Elvis is just eating whatever. Cozy corner house, no pro <laughs> no problem. Home sweet home. Okay, what 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 do we have to do first? God, so much needs to be done. Okay, let's just let Peter sort himself out. You do what you gotta do. There's some food in the fridge. Perfect. Feeling pretty good. Gotta recharge the batteries a bit. Barry, get out of here. I'm trying to eat. Okay, not the best place to sleep. Let's go for a big old sleep. Okay, good. Even though we're stinking, it's fine, right? Where can we put these? Can you like stack them all up? Oh, Papa. Oh, look at Barry go. Oh, you can put them on top of the fridge? I don't think you can. No, I don't think you can. I think you gotta just put them on the floor. It's probably like a uh, like a dresser or something you put them on. Oh, or a shelf. Yeah, we could buy a, a shelf for our frogs. Our pet frogs. Good job, Johnson. I don't know why Barry doesn't sleep inside, but what can you do? Elvis is getting frisky with Johnson in the bathroom. Elvis is now temperament level three. Wow. That's in insane. We got a tetra fish that we could potentially cook up. That might be fun. We need to have fun, socialize, and uh, take care of our hygiene as well. We're in such a bad state here. We're feeling better, though.
When I've recovered, go back and see the damage in the house. Okay, I'll do it. Um, have a quick meal, bake, cook. Oh, there's no available counter space. Oh, I see. We need a counter to be able to prepare food. This is why we're struggling so much, right? Cook. Okay, hold on a second. If I do this... Styled rooms. Kitchen. Rustic Delight. Furniture. Off the grid. Sink. What do we want? Decorations? Water features? Household inventory. Why do I have a metal stove thing? I've got a picture of a horse here as well. Is this all my stuff? Piece of the prairie decals. It is. Okay, let's put that there. A bunkhouse spindleback dining chair. And a mega houseplant pot. Very good. Okay. We need um, off the grid objects by room. We want counters, right? Counters. Perfect. Okay, now we can cook. Uh, what do we want to cook? We have it. We can't do uh, fish. We can't cook up that that fish, but we can make mac and cheese, a single serving for four dollars. Okay, let's do it. This is gonna hit the spot big time, right? Nice. Mmm. Finish eating. Resist the temptation. Look at that. Perfect. Feeling better. Okay, now it's time to go to the toilet. Go. Wonderful. All right, take a shower as well. Let's go. Getting Peter back on track here. Nice. Okay, and then we can go out, out and have fun by harvesting all the prairie grass. Look at that. Peter actually finds this fun. Look, the fun rating is going up. How exciting. Peter made a discovery while searching the prairie grass. One normal quality horse manure. <laughs> I suppose you would find a couple of horse manures in there. We have two horses. Stop pooping in here. We got a free onion. One free onion. Peter has acquired a first bottle of energy nectar. One energy ne nectar. Quartz. A bonsai bud. This prairie grass is incredible. You can find so many treasures. It's insane. I know. Peter's looking fresh. All right. 
Let's clean up the manure. Oh, we found a carrot as well. Looks like that's all there is to harvest right now. Okay, let's harvest all these grapes and we can make some high quality nectars. Look at all the grapes that we're getting. Okay. Let's make a, a grape nectar. Time to make some more. <laughs> oh man! Hey, we're gonna—we might get a skill up at uh, creating uh, nectar soon. He just wants to talk to someone. Luckily, we got some horses. More choices, actions, open profile. Let's go tell a joke to uh, Elvis Presley. Okay, let's talk to him now, too. This is, this is hitting our... Talk about which clouds are the fluffiest. Oh, my God. What a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making Peter feel amazing. Should he firmly embrace with his astonishing sculpted arms that he likes fitness? Oh yeah. This is this is the new the the new arc for Peter. He's going to get in shape. He's not in great shape at the moment. Just a little bit of exercise, a bit of starvation. No problem. We'll get there. Get there in no time. All right, let's clean out our nectar barrel. Put this manure in. Get back to nectar crafting. <laughs> Can you get the horses in the bathroom again? They'll go in when they're ready. They'll just go in when they're ready. You just gotta leave them to it. Look at all these grape plants. Okay, we've used up all of our ingredients. Oh, I'm just lying, we have not. Okay, how many nectars have I made? 30 bucks for this quartz. Three normal quality. The, the energy nectar sells for 1,995 bucks. Oh, that is good. That is good. One prehistoric hoof print. Peter's dedication to rancher life pays off again. He knew just how to stomp and extract an extra bottle's worth of nectar from his batch. Oh, my. Okay, let's clear this out again. Let's just store all of our nectar bottles in here after this is done as well. Okay, we're going to skill up. It's going to happen on this batch. Oh, maybe it won't actually. It takes a little while. Where's Creamy? Creamy's right here. Look, he's watching uh, Peter do the um, the nectar crafting. Level 2 of nectar making. Okay, let's talk to Creamy in a sec as well. Once the nectar is done. 
And then after that's done, let's store all of our nectar bottles in here. There should be a whole load of them. Yes. There's some finely aged ones in there, apparently. It's good to know. Our hygiene has uh, has gone rock bottom once again. Nothing a quick shower won't cure. Where the hell is Johnson today? Johnson just hasn't turned up. We got seven out of thirteen in there. It's time to craft some more nectar. Don't you dare think about having some dinner. Not when there's more nectar to be crafted. We're level two uh, nectar crafters now, so. Johnson got married to that skank you pushed him away to? What? No, Johnson didn't die in the fire. Are you talking about Johnson didn't uh, travel over there with me? I don't think. Nectars can be aged for big bucks. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing. I'm crafting up every single nectar. I grew a whole bunch of grapes. We got to figure out how to make like the better ones as well. That would be really good. All right, let's clean this thing out. And then let's resume the mac and cheese. Oh man, I forgot how much fun The Sims is actually. It's been so long since I played it. My my kids would love this game. I should uh I should introduce this to my son. I think he would love it. It's just so goofy, isn't it? It is pretty fun, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Elvis, please. I'm going to bed. Good night. <laughs> okay, good. No, I mean, it's fine. He went to bed at like 1 a.m., so he's probably going to sleep until maybe like 8 or something. Hopefully, Johnson turns up at 7. Be good. No sign of Johnson. Who the heck is Johnson? Oh, who knows? Sell all the grapes? No, no. We're harvesting all of our grapes. Come on, Peter. Let's hop to it. We leveled up. Our gardening skill has leveled up. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, let's water all the plants after this as well. Why are we so embarrassed? Bad ranch product. Oh. Some bad grapes were harvested. I see. Okay, we can shear creamy for 22 bucks. So let's do it. Creamy getting all stinky here as well. Maybe it just needs to be sheared. Can we wash him? I got a clean creamy. Look, he stinks. Okay, let's figure out what's wrong with Barry. Barry is bored. Okay. Let's let's talk about going fast with Barry. Barry No, we can't get out of the house now. Oh, yeah, we can. Here we go. Okay, let's mount him. Barry, I'm hopping on. Nope. Okay, I'll brush your coat then, Barry. It's fine. 
Barry was just like, nope. No, thank you. Let's ask him for cooperation during mounting. Okay. Good. Let's go for a relaxed ride. That's a bit too relaxed, Barry. That's a little bit too relaxed. Okay, let's go practice bear. Oh, gross. Okay, I'm not cleaning that one up. It's not on the ranch, so it's not actually our property. Come on, Barry. If we're going to enter him into a competition, we got to get him trained right up. Barry looks sad. Don't worry. Barry's going to cheer up in no time. Look, the more Barry practices the barrels, look, he's becoming a pro. Oh, except for there's a little mishap there. Fun is going down? Well, that's Peter's fun, though, not Barry's fun. I mean, hygiene's going down as well. It wants us to go fishing again. Okay, let's ask Barry to play. That'll make Barry feel better. Peter can now discuss horse riding with other sims and is less likely to get bucked off horses while riding. Horsing level 4. Jeez. Whoa. Where's Barry Manilow? Barry Manilow is just nowhere to be seen. Okay, I'll put this in my inventory. Nice. Nice. Craft some more nectar. Prairie grass. We need to be skill level 3 to do prairie grass network. Uh, nectar. Network. Yeah, well, we eventually we'll learn how to fertilize um, our plants and stuff, too. And then we can use all this manure that I've been collecting over time. <laughs> Level 3 to get my nectar card? Perfect. Okay, let's store all of our bottles in here. And let's go take a shower. I got 10 out of 13 bottles stored in here. Ew. Okay, I don't know where Sips. Johnson is. Selling yeah? alcohol may be profitable, but you have access to the most valuable liquid on earth. Horse semen. Horse semen is very expensive, and you have it on tap. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. New. You're right. I do have a lot of horse semen available. I better clean this bed. I think tomorrow morning we'll have a new ranch hand turn up. Because I think Johnson is done. I think Johnson gave up. Okay, there. Hey, what's this? An apple tree! Oh, there's an apple tree growing on the lot! Dr. New, thanks so much for the 10. I appreciate it. No, oh, Johnson's not dead. What are you talking about? Look, I can phone Johnson up right now. Social. Chat with. Hawk Johnson. See? Having a good chat with Hawk Johnson right now. Still alive. Just gotta mop up this uh, pea puddle on the ground. Do do do.
Is Funs going down talking to Hawk Johnson? Narabu. Creamy actions. Watch Creamy. Socialize. Play with Creamy. Nice. We just uh, we just played with Creamy for a little bit. Creamy will grow in grow into an adult sheep one of these days. You realize this? Then what? What are we gonna do? Put Creamy to work. Well, I think he's only uh, chores. Ask for gardening help. We have to develop a stronger relationship with Creamy before Creamy will help us with the gardening. We do have uh, the rancher coming by at 7 o'clock. Hopefully it's just Johnson again, because Johnson's already familiar with the ranch, of course. I don't know where the hell Johnson is. <gasps> nice. Okay, let's do a friendly... Let's ask Johnson to move in. Johnson, can you move in so that you can do all these chores for free instead? Here we go. I'm asking... Click OK. Johnson, plus 20,000 bucks. Holy crap. Johnson has moved in. Okay, let's tell Johnson a horse joke. That, well, that was easy. That was so easy. Ask to be woohoo partners. More choices. Mischief. Actions. Romance. Flirtation. Ask if single. Oh shit, I just got some bills. Johnson, can you pay 441 bucks? Jeez. Come on, Johnson. You gonna pay your way here or what? That's insane. Yeah, I know we just got 20k, but we're not gonna have it for very long if this is how how life is gonna be under Johnson. Okay, Johnson. We're going to bunk together. Don't get any funny ideas. You got to make your own meals around here as well, okay? And can you please tend to the horses? Go away, discuss interests. You want a cowpoke dance? They're doing it. Oh, they were going to do it. Johnson's doing <laughs> Johnson's going for it. Oh, Johnson, that's great. Okay, yes, I'm looking to sell my homemade nectar. Opening opening the nectar. I just made 1,291 bucks from all my nectar. I'm going to sell the energy one as well. 1,995 bucks worth of nectar. Holy guacamole. Hey, it, that's amazing. Johnson could do a jump into a split. I think we're flirting with the horse. Oh no, it's Johnson and... Johnson and, and Peter Pennywhacker flirting together. 
Oh, I thought the game was going to get a little bit weird for a second there, but... I could buy back the rest of the house with the, with the money? No, no, it's fine. We don't need to buy back the house. We got everything we need here. It's our little patch of paradise. Now, are they talking while the Nectar acquired the Charisma skill? Good job, Peter. Holy jeez. Alright, let's keep crafting Nectar. Johnson can keep chatting to us while we're doing it as well. Johnson, please tend to the animals. I just stand here chatting to me all day. Look, the animals, they don't talk to the frogs. Those, not those animals. The horses, Johnson. The horses. We gotta train them up. We gotta get them ready for the championship. They can't do it themselves. Look, I'm, try I'm trying to make nectar money here so that we can send them off to Texas or wh wherever you send horses to for the championship. I do control Johnson now, but I choose not to. Johnson just has to learn how to do stuff on their own. Peter's stomping their way to nectar fame. Would it be safe to say that he likes nectar making? <laughs> I think it would be. What do you think? All right, we got an extra bottle of nectar as well. All this ranching is really starting to pay off big time. Yeah, Johnson, Johnson is a free spirit. Johnson can just do whatever Johnson wants to do, okay? Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. All right, we're going to be shedding pounds in no time. You like Johnson's sweet nectar? What kind of outfit do we want to put on Johnson? Pretty nice. Pretty nice outfit, Johnson. Very good. Maybe we can plan an outfit. Maybe Johnson can go jogging. Go for a jog, Johnson. Come on. It's time to shed some of that. Look at there. Hawk Johnson has acquired a skill in fitness. Holy jeez! Look at all these cherries! Look at all of the fruit. Oh, my gardening is insane in this chat. Look at all the stuff you can get. Want to do some, some research? Research helps you get some gardening skills as well. No, the horses aren't going to eat all of it. Not, they're not going to get a chance to. I'm going to harvest it so fast. Yeah, well, he's got it. It sure is a tree, yeah, but he's got to figure it out. We got to expand the ranch. Johnson? Okay, we've researched the apple tree and we've made a note of it in our book. Okay, how do we get. Okay, I'm going to clean creamy. We got to. Excuse me? Let's do a howdy introduction. Howdy. Who's this guy? Arrowhead Rodriguez. I'm going to brighten his day. What about my toupee? Hawk has learned about a normal quality horse manure. Good job, Hawk. Gosh. Maybe we can ask this guy to move in, too. Let's do, let's do a potty humor. Let's tell this guy a gross joke. See how he handles it. 
See if he's a see if he can join the the Wacker household. See if he's got what it takes. Whoa. We've got horses everywhere here. All right. Hawk Johnson is playing some video games. Okay, let's ask him about getting a horse. Getting and selling horses. Do you want to buy a horse? We need to buy a, a, a female horse. <laughs> channel surf. Watch a, watch a channel. Can you get... Uh, if you watch like the cooking channel, do you get skill ups in cooking? Like in uh, Zomboid? Hey, what's up, Corey? How you doing? Yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm getting to live out all my, my horse ranch fantasies. I moved them all inside. They're loving it. These are, these are some happy-ass horses. They're really enjoying themselves. Okay, we can still only... Look at this. Any fruit. You need a skill of five. Unbelievable. We're also making huge money by crafting nectars. Check it out. Incredible. It's not trash nectar. We made like 2,000 bucks just like a couple minutes ago off for our big, our huge nectar creations. We got a skill up. We got lots of grapes. We're just grinding out grape nectar. Well, howdy there, and yee-haw, it's me, Arrowhead Rodriguez. <laughs> man oh man, what an absolute piss-filled crap hole you got here, partner. That horse looks suspicious, and that lamb looks delicious. <laughs> now, I'm off to root and toot and shit my britches. Yee-haw. Hey, thank you so much, Arrowhead Rodriguez. Thanks for the donation. Um, ooh, what's this? trash it's some trash oh man what a game all right listen i gotta go chat the hashtag ad is over in fact we overran by an hour and a half on the hashtag ad because it turns out that the the horse ranch dlc for the sims 4 is actually kind of fun there you go you can age them completely for more money it's nice it's nice. Um, there's a there's a bunch of stuff you could do with it as well. I I feel like we only scratched the surface. It was only the tip of the iceberg. You can take your horses to like the horse training center and enter them into championships and stuff. Um, I think there's a I think there's a lot of uh, extra Sims game here if you like that sort of thing. Anyway, thanks for the sponsorship, EA. Thanks for the hashtag ad. It was really fun. Uh, there's a, uh, command that you can type in the, uh, in the chat if you want a link to, uh, to the Horse Ranch DLC. I think the base game is free now, but it's had millions and millions of DLCs over the years. And, uh, I don't, I wouldn't recommend buying every single one because it's a, it's a heck of a lot of game. But you can pick out the ones that you like and, and grab those ones. I feel like the, the I feel like the Horse Ranch DLC is... Seems pretty good from what we played. It's been pretty fun. There's a thousand bucks worth of DLC. I think it's more than that. I think e like even a couple of years ago we looked at all the DLC and it was over a thousand bucks worth, right? Or was that Flight Simulator? One of them. I think it was Flight Simulator that it was like one thousand five hundred bucks worth of D DLC or something like that. It is insane, yeah. This game came out in 2014. <laughs> it's all. It's nearly ten years old. Uh, and it's just had a ton of DLC. Oh, was it Train Sim 4K? Uh, okay. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that chat. Um, 
listen, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back later on. I'll be back in a couple of hours uh, because we have to start our uh, played up run uh, with Hafu. Uh, so we will do that tonight um, later on. And uh, we'll get back to uh, satisfactory once uh, the played up stuff is done. Um, I think uh, I think we're gonna do tonight. I think we're gonna do uh, tomorrow night and uh, and Monday potentially during the day. We'll be uh, we'll try to finish our run and then submit it uh, in time for the um, tournament, which is I think the second of August is the cutoff. We send in what we have. And then they pick a winner on, I think it's the third. Something like that. You're going to be at Oppenheimer tonight? I think I'm going to go see it tomorrow. I heard it's really good. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, all right, chat. Thank you so much for uh, watching the hashtag ad. I appreciate it. Uh, it was good fun. It was a lot of fun, actually. It's fun. It was good to play The Sims again. Maybe it's uh, maybe maybe we can actually pick up The Sims and and do like a, a longer play of it uh, once we're done with uh, Satisfactory. I forgot that The Sims is actually kind of a, a like a gold mine <laughs> of of uh, stupid shit that can happen. We will miss Creamy. Don't worry, Creamy's still here. We we'll pick back up where we left off. We'll 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 carry on with this one. We'll check out some of the, uh, the the further stuff and see if we can get uh, Johnson and Pennywhacker into in, into some shape for careers and stuff as well. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the uh, subs and resubs. Thanks for the donations. I appreciate it. And thanks for uh, supporting the hashtag ad as well. I appreciate it. I'll be back in a couple hours and we'll do uh, we'll we'll start our plate up run then. Yes. Okay. Chat. Peace. LOL. Lots of love. I'll catch you in a bit. Bye now. Bye.